What, what has four thumbs and thinks we're weird? We do! Hello again. Welcome to the final episode of Kitty and Panda's sewing class. Today's final episode, we are going to show you um, how to hem. And we're going to do something a little special. We're going to put in a Go Pack Go, or just Go Pack and have a repeat all the way around because we're Packers fans. And we can do that with your sewing machine. And we'll be showing you how, to pro how, how I can program that into my sewing machine and how some sewing machines can do that and some cannot. There's a bug in a bag. <laughs> Easily amused, distracted. Cat's in the bag. And it's not this one. <laughs> Funny. Okay, and so we should get started. Ready? Yeah. We'll be right back. Action. All right, before we can actually start hemming, we do have to pin up the hem. Yes, more pinning. But this, the pattern already called for a 5 8 seam, so we're going to fold up, fit out our handy measure, and measure up 5 8 Not that you can see it with her hands in the way. But I'm a little too lazy to move. Mm, let's see if it happens. That'll be the five A's. And we should be right about there. So we're going to make our first pin. And just kind of fold and go from there. Double check your measurements every so often. Because we want to make sure this stays nice and even. Alright, welcome back. I have the bottom of this pinned, but because we're going to be saying go pack go, we don't want this to read in reverse. We need to turn it inside out. Right side out. Right side out, okay. Yeah, we're already inside out. But to do this, we have to be very, very careful so we don't pit stab ourselves with the pins or lose any of the pins. Last one. Where did we lose one? Oh, I don't know. I thought I heard one fall. Uh, I think you just heard it hitting the thing. Oh, okay. And we got that set. So we want to make sure this reads right. And do that test fabric. We're going to turn on our sewing machine. And Panda, if you want to come around. Can you see the sewing machine? Mm -hmm. The display screen? Now we can see the screen. Alright. Turn my machine on. Since I'm going to be doing a Go Pack Go, I want to hit my ABC for letters and find my letters. And there we go. So let's see. We need a G, O. I want a couple of spaces in between there because I don't want to run all as one word. We're going to put two spaces in just to make sure we can get space showing up in there. Okay, and back to a couple more spaces. We're just going to say go pack for now because when we put this in and it repeats, it'll continue saying go pack go instead of saying go go pack go go pack. And we want to test it out, make sure that it works the way we want it to. As you can see, I have threaded green fabric here. Or green fabric, green thread. Thread. For contrast. For contrast, so that we can mm. actually read this. Sorry on the zoom there. Oh, hand in the way. And we want to be able to lock our stitches in place. We had a. Um, you can't do a standard back stitch with this. I just press the back stitch button, which is for me down here, and it does a few stitches so that we have our back stitching locks it in place. And then we're gonna go. And so this is a pretty smart machine. It'll stop automatically once the last space is done. I can set this to repeat, which we will be doing here instead of having to stop and go each time. If I press that, this little red light goes on, and it's going to automatically repeat over and over and over again. But for now, let's take a look and see how it turns out. And there we go. 
to be a two-person job, which is our most awkward spot we can be because I have to have most of my fabric on the inside and I have to be careful not to sew over that. I'm going to start at one of the seams, which is right on the side here. I don't know how that can be viewed. But we have a seam going up here, which is going to be on the side. That way we can start off nice and neat. And we're going to put this on very, very carefully. You want to put the presser foot on for me? Thank you. Put my pins over here. Good thing you've got those ridiculously long nails. Lovely, aren't they? Better to claw you with, my dear. And we are going to very carefully get sewing. Back stitch. Alright, we finished sewing this part, uh, this portion here. Now we have Go Pack Go. Do I need to lower it? Wait. Up. Down. See? It says go back, go! All the way around. And we're only going to put the embroidery at the bottom because it is a lot of work. That took us probably about 15 minutes to go all the way around here. And it is quite time consuming. And imagine if you had to do that on the sleeves. And it would be very difficult on the sleeves too. So we're just going to do basic stitching, straight stitch on the rest. Do we still want to stick with the green thread? For embellishment? I think so. All right. The only thing I wish is that we had little footballs to put on here, but unfortunately that wasn't one of the pre-programmed stitches. So we're going to come back. I'm going to go ahead and finish pinning the rest, and we'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. Bye. All right. Welcome back. And we finished sewing. Panda is now sporting her new uh, undershirt for Packer jer or for to wear underneath her jersey. She did um, forget the snaps, so that's the one thing we're going to have to uh, bypass. She left the snaps back home. But, let's take a look, Panda. Excuse me, Kat. Ta-da! Yep. Ta-da! Sporty, and it's long enough that it fits her. Otherwise, if we had followed to plan that shirt, Panda, if you want to demonstrate, which would come up to about where? If we hadn't, hadn't added, what, four inches? Or do we add five? It would have come up to about there. As you can see, this is a bit, much better improvement for our height. And the and sleeves. It, and the sleeves. They would have been like that. Yep, we added a little bit of length to the sleeves and to the, uh, to the, waist, or to the length there. I think it turned know my sister. I am that tall. <laughs> well, some of you do. And... Right, Panda? Excuse me, Kat. So, that's it for Kitty and Panda's four-episode sewing class. Maybe we'll come up with something again soon, but that's it for now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Say bye. -bye. Ross said, ready to go to the rent fair, but we have all this stuff in no pockets. What are we going to do? I have an idea. Go. Look what I made. Hey, those will work great. Let's go. Kitty here just for one final goodbye here. I just wanted to uh, show my appreciation for everybody who tuned in and watched these videos. And thank you very much. And I appreciate all of your uh, your viewing attempts or viewings uh, while I completed this project with along with Panda. Panda is happens to be my sister, and we both love sewing. And she makes a great helper. I do most of the sewing myself. And. 
stay tuned. We may have more projects to show. Thank you again. Bye-bye, everybody.